everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video it's going to be just a very brief video about some technical insights. I want to talk again about the Nissan Sunny RZ1 B12 digital cluster. So over here I have a super raw piece of hardware. Um, if you're a bit familiar with these you'll recognize this is the 9000 RPM variant where the RPM gauge goes up to 9000 RPM. So um, you know that I've built this adapter and then there was a customer who has this, cl this, this cluster and he said the adapter doesn't work with this cluster. So I started measuring a little bit. Um, this is the PCB which is on the back side of the cluster. I just removed it and put it aside. You usually see it combined with this heatsink that is usually mounted here. I removed that one so that I have a better look uh, at the PCB and can measure a bit. So I realized that compared to the standard cluster, the one with 8000 RPM, this 9000 RPM cluster has a different speed signal. So I did a lot of measurements and there is one part that I have identified as being not working. It's this little comparator over here. So I had to remove this one and also a capacitor. There are quite a few differences compared to the standard cluster. For example, the speed sensor that is connected over here um, works with 16 pulses per rotation. So I did some math over here. So the other cluster has like 24 pulses per one rotation, which means like that if you drive one kilometer per hour, you get 4.2 hertz signal. But this 9000 RPM cluster uses a different speed signal. This one only has 16 pulses per rotation, uh, yielding about 2.8 hertz per, hertz per kilometer per hour. So that basically means uh, I had to uh, change the software a little bit. And that's what I did here. Here you have the debugger. I just changed the source code to uh, uh, take a different frequency into account. and. You might be wondering how can it work if I remove this part. Basically I replace this with a simple resistor here which then goes to a transistor stage on the adapter board. So here we have the power supply. This power supply powers both this board and my adapter board. And this one will now simulate the speed sensor signal which is su suitable for this, kind of, for this cluster. I'll give you a brief demonstration by powering this up. Um, then I will instrument my adapter board here to set a specific speed value and then we should be able to see it on the cluster. Because I have the heatsink removed I can only do measurements for like a really short time. Um, otherwise these little transistors over here the corners will overheat and I don't want them to break. So let's demonstrate. First of all, I will set up the speed sensor to manual mode. And let's program it to display static 100 kilometers per hour. All right. Over here on my scope you will see the PWM signal generated by this board over here. This PWM signal is then fed into this PCB where it is processed and then uh, converted into some digital signal that is displayed here. Alright, so let me plug that in. You can now see the PWM here which is quite high frequency and we have 100 kilometers per hour displayed. Let's change it to uh, 140 and we have 140 displayed. So I remove the power again because otherwise the transistors tend to overheat. Ah, let me just disconnect the power cord. So what else? <clears throat> Maybe I use the remaining time of this video to explain you a little bit more in detail what this, how does this PCB work over here. 
So you see this part that originally belongs in here. I removed that one because I did some measurements and found out that this little IC over here is broken. So what that one is, this is like a Toshiba, uh, how's it called, comparator, which basically compares two voltages and then gives a signal one or, or zero. That one is broken and I just replaced it by a simple transistor stage, which then also gives a one or zero signal, basically the one that you saw on, on my uh, scope over here before. Now there's no signal displayed because I cut the power. So besides having identified this one as being like uh, one of the reasons why the adapter doesn't work, there is also a second problem. So inside this signal processing here, which goes to this comparator, there's a very strong low-pass filter, like a resistor-capacitor combination. Um, and this is a problem because if you put a PWM, a high-frequency PWM, on such a low-pass filter, the signal will look will look messy. I took a screenshot of that here. So you can see this was the signal with the low pass filter. You can see that you have these these charge discharge curves of the capacitor here because there's a capacitor which is buffering the voltages too much. Um, this basically prevented me to display any speed higher than 20 kilometers per hour because with higher frequencies these signals would get so much messed up that there was no clear PWM anymore. I solved this by removing this capacitor for now. Um, now it works, you saw it. But I'm still wondering if there's a possibility of um, getting a valid speed signal to display even without having to uh, remove the capacitor here. Because if I'm going to provide you an adapter kit and then tell you, hey, you have to open this one and remove this little capacitor here, I'm pretty sure you guys will be very disappointed. So you can, as you can see, there's still a little bit of engineering that has to go into this adapter. And to finish this video, I want to show one last demo mode that I programmed. So let's put the power back on. Cluster is back online. And now I will switch the speed mode to replay, which is basically a demo mode. So now you can see it's replaying some speed signal values going up and down. So does the frequency. And you can see now you don't have to, you have a very nice PWM signal because you don't have this capacitor in place anymore. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. A bit technical and I don't spend too much effort on today's video, but yeah, I just want to give you some technical details for the Nissan Sunny RZ1 Geeks. Have fun. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.